this is La Queen Sakura. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all safe and sound. In this video, I'll show you how to complete the entire 12 levels in this Once Upon a Tower game by powering up by buying the boosters or power-ups. It is very hard to win without the boosters, but also the less boosters you buy, the more scores you get. You can find more information about this game in another video for which I have added links in the description box below. It has more information about this game. Please do check it out. So here in this game there will be 12 levels and the final one is where the dragon appears. As we know, if we die once in this game, we have to start right from the beginning. Yes, right from level 1. There is no second chance and all. Once you die, it's done for. So it's really advisable that you use boosters in the initial stage to try and win. Even with the boosters, it's a bit tough to win. It's really, really tough. I mean it. So the level keeps getting harder. It's like it's almost very difficult after level 7. And the most challenging levels are 10, 11 and 12. So from level 1 to 5, focus more on collecting the fireflies. Almost try to collect all the fireflies. So then we can buy the essential boosters or the power up. Also, if they provide an option to watch video and obtain the power-up, do it without thinking twice. It's a win-win for us. I'll tell you what we need to buy first and which is more essential to win the game. I use random names for the boosters, so I'll add the snapshots in this video so you know which power-up or booster I'm talking about. I'm really, really bad at remembering the names. I'm really sorry about that. The most important thing is the armor and the weapon we use. I would say it's better if we buy both fire hammer and also the hammer fall. So I have bought the hammer fall and how lucky are we to get the armor and fortune wheel. Now it means I have a second chance. So basically armor protects you from enemies only once. So if a spider falls on you, you won't die, but the armor will vanish. It's a one time thing. What would the ha hammer fall weapon? Whenever you land on a tile, the enemies on alternate sides get eliminated automatically. Not only the enemies, but even if there's a firefly on any alternate side where you land, it also gets taken away. So that's why I love this fall hammer weapon. It's really good. I was in a dilemma to buy the magnet. I wanted to buy the parachute, but I ended up buying the magnet because... The magnet gets too pricey at further levels. So guys, basically all the power up keep getting pricey at each level. So always buy the pricey ones first. Here the parachute was much cheaper than the magnet. So I got the magnet. Also the magnet helps you attract fireflies towards you but only if it's on the alternate sides. If it's two tiles away from you, it won't get attracted. But it's still better because as the level keeps getting harder, we won't be able to focus on collecting the fireflies. So I find the magnets really really useful. Here again I was confused as in what I should buy. With the three bombs you can easily destroy the dragon in the final battle. But it, with the fire hammer you can destroy enemies who are two tiles away from you. Which means you can eliminate them before they could even get near you. Also I feel like it's easier to hit the fire back at the fire totem with the fire hammer than the others. Now the only power ups that we have to buy is the spike boot, the bombs and or the parachute. If you don't have enough fireflies to buy the spike boots then please go with the parachute. With the parachute you can move while you're still on the air. You can save yourself from landing on the spiky crab or even other destinations. Like you can get the fireflies which is you know two tiles away. You can avoid the fire totem and land somewhere else and what not. If I had more fireflies back then, I would have definitely bought the spike boots than the parachute because the spike boots protects us from the crab and the spiky trap. From level 7, you can see a lot of spiky crab. So it's like it's really really hard to survive without the spiky boots. Even with the spiky boots, it's sometimes difficult because there are a lot of enemies flooding from these levels. So it's like even if you have a lot of power ups, it'll be difficult to win against them. You can just see enemies everywhere and the crab or the pig just keeps falling on your head even if you hit the other targets. So it's like you have to look out for the pig you have to look out for the dragon which throws the flame from the windows which is so annoying and the fire totem number is also increased. 
Uh, I kind of bought the bombs by mistake. I actually wanted to save and buy armor again so that I could have second chance if I end up getting hit by the enemy. So learn from my mistake guys. Don't ever swing your hammer randomly when you're landing near the power ups. I'm really scared to proceed without the armor, especially after level 8. There are a lot of enemies flooding and I hate the boars. The boars, it falls on your head from literally nowhere. The fire totem numbers are also more in these levels and sometimes, even when it looks like you hit the fire back at the totem, it's wrong and you end up dying. The big dragon also spews fire from the open window and you can't stand in the tile even for a millisecond to think about where to land next. So it's pretty much tough here. Hitting the small dragon gives you more firefly but I would say don't risk it. They're also dangerous sometimes. And the most most dangerous stuff I would say is the cart because let's say your dragon is spewing the fire from the open window and by chance if there is a cart it would not burn but it would fall on your head and you would die. And when, when it happened for the first time it was a big surprise for me. I was literally shocked. And, and that was the first time I reached level 10 and the card fell on my head and it was so, so devastated. Another tip would be is to try to land on a tile that doesn't have open windows on either side so you can avoid the fire totems accordingly. Now we're on the final level that is level 12 aka the final dragon level. So here you need to hit it three times and I just click the bomb three times and the dragon is dead in a second. So that is why I use the bombs. So that's it guys, that's how you complete the level with using the power ups. If you want to check more about the rules of the game, I've talked about it in another video for which I've given the link in the description box below. If you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Until then, bye guys, see you next time.